Tulsi, I believe in God. I wonder if you believe in God. From this position of um, my love of God, I am confused at times by the ferocity of the current cultural war, believing myself that whether these arguments are approached from the libertarian right or the socially justice-oriented left, the individual freedom and a continual undergirding and a recourse to principles undergirding by and recourse to principles such as compassion, kindness, tolerance and forgiveness would seem obvious on both ends of that spectrum. It confuses me that there is so much vociferousness, uh, angst and antipathy, particularly in American culture, but across the world now, around these cultural issues. Stopping it there, I wasn't going to stop it so quickly, but I just wanted to point out one little thing. But before I continue, welcome to Mika Reacts and Reviews, where we react to, to things on the internet. And if you're watching this video, welcome. That means I am back on the platform. YouTube did give me another strike, which banned me from uploading anything uh, for two fucking weeks. Um, and so for the next month or so, I'm going to try to my best to keep topics light, but still appropriate for this channel. Um, just because I'll still be on thin ice. I do have all the links to all the eternal platforms that I'm on. Please go follow me on those platforms so I can kill, still communicate with you just in case I get yeeted off of YouTube. I got the strike for reacting to a Republican political campaign and I will put that on my Rumble account so you can see why your girl's livelihood has been threatened. He's talking about why he feels like the radical progressive left sort of woke gish SJW cult seem to be very anti-faith, anti-spirituality, anti-God, anti-religion, anti-church. And he just pointed out some things where his belief in God is how, you know, the, the objective to him is to have compassion, forgiveness, kindness, tolerance, which are like the four biggest things that they lack, even though they like try to pretend that they, they live under the banner of that. They're not tolerant of anyone that's outside of their political or their cultural ideology. They're not kind to anyone that is on the outside of their political and culture ideology. And forgiveness is a very big one that's lacking because they want to destroy you for something you tweeted 13 years ago, right? They're there is no forgiveness in their heart. That's why they can't let go of the past. That's why they keep bringing up slavery, Jim Crow, feminism, stuff like that, because they can't forgive and move on, right? Even though they're not the only ones who do that, I believe anyone who finds themselves in a cult-like tribalistic community present the same sort of toxic qualities. Again, lack of compassion, lack of empathy, lack of kindness, lack of forgiveness, lack of tolerance of anyone that is outside of your political and cultural ideology but let's continue uh, you've spoken uh, about some of these ideas at the moment re recently at least uh, and i wonder what it is that informs your opinion and how you align them um, with what i would understand as spiritual principles that amount to sort of love and unity and acceptance yeah you know i i do my very best uh to please God uh, and to love God with all my heart uh, every day. Uh, he is the center of my life and I have dedicated my life to service because what better way to uh, make God happy than to work for the well-being of God's children and, and our planet. Um, one of the things that I talked about in my statement of leaving the Democrat Party is because uh, these people, the leaders of this party, are so hostile towards anyone who is a person of faith or those who have their own spiritual practice. Uh, it, it, they are directly uh, undermining our constitutional principle of freedom of religion. It's not freedom from religion. It is freedom of religion for every one of us to develop our own personal loving relationship with God in whatever way we choose or, or not at all. And you can, you can directly link this hostility towards uh, people of faith and towards spirituality, really with their own desire to see themselves as God, to see themselves as controllers and rulers 
of others, of, of the people. Uh, and, and so it's no wonder that we hear such hatred and vitriol coming from them rather than allowing uh, God who sits in every one of our hearts to inspire that kindness and compassion and understanding and forgiveness that really comes from his unconditional love for every single one of us uh, as, as people. All right, stopping it there. That was just a small clip from Russell Brand interviewing Tosi Gabbard, who recently walked away from the Democratic Party, and I think now she's just sort of just independent. Um, even though some of her talking points now, because of the culture war, swings right or conservative, but I would just call them common sense. Before I respond to exactly what Tosi Gabbard said, Russell Brand also pointed out three more pillars before he moved the conversation and allowed Tosi Gabbard to speak in this interview, which was accept um love and unity and again those are three things that they cannot have they don't want people to come together unless it's under the banner that they see fit right and acceptance again they don't accept anyone that's outside of their political and cultural ideology but that's a lot of tribes tribes and, and lots of platforms and lots of communities that do that but it is right now the loudest is the woke left because they seem to have more power the most power over most influence, influence at the time when it comes to politics, entertainment, in our universities, or our education system. I recently watched a video of Gothex. She is another content creator on this platform, and she talked about this a bit, why, again, the authoritarian, uh, totalitarian, postmodernism, sort of radical, regressive, woke left SJW, that cultish um, community, the reason why they're so anti-religion, church, God, faith, and spirituality is because if you walk in that, if you have faith, if you are a spiritual person and you truly try to live your life with the love of Jesus or the love of Gandhi or the love of Buddhists, a lot of this stuff doesn't really ring true to you because in that faith, in those spiritual practices or in that philosophy, the color of your skin doesn't mean boo. Like, it, you don't judge people for the color of their skin. You don't judge people who are between their legs. You don't judge people on their sexuality. You're supposed to look past that and accept love thy neighbor beyond their physical self, right? I wanted to talk a little bit about Jesus <laughs> and why social justice warriors hate him. There is a connection there. You have to ask yourself why that is. If you look in The Naked Communist, which I recommend everyone pick this up, you can find this in other places, not just Amazon. But like, check this out. Th there's a quote here. We hate Christians and Christianity. Even the best of them must be considered the worst enemies because they, they preach love of one's neighbor and mercy, which is contrary to our principles, meaning the principles of communists. Christian love is an obstacle to the development of the revolution. Down with love our neighbor. What we want is hate. Only then can we conquer the universe. Karl Marx has been quoted saying, I hate all gods. The official communist international program says one of the most important tasks of the cultural revolution affecting the wide masses is the task of systematically and unswervingly combating religion, the opium of the people. They know that in order to convince the, the masses to follow their nonsense, they need to first get their attention and not have them them uh, look for guidance from a higher authority one of the reasons why I don't fall and I never fell into that sort of progressive leftist mindset is because I am a spiritual person and my in my spiritual practices I'm not going to do no one's supposed to be divided by their race or their sex or their religion or their sexuality. We're supposed to all come together. We're all God's children. We're all humans. We're all part of the human race, right? And so because they want to divide us so much, they want to divide us with as many labels as they can possibly come up with so they can control us. If we come together, then they can't control us. It's a whole divide and conquer thing is create a enemy out of thy neighbor 
because fear is also a way to control the masses. They don't want us to unify. They don't want us to come together. They don't want us to be loving and friends one, one to one another. They don't want us to be kind to one another. They don't want us to be accepting. They don't want us to forgive the past and move on towards the future because then that defeats the point of what they're trying to do. They want us to be divided because that is the way they have control. And it's the same thing as 101 creating a cult right when you create a cult you destroy any other authority figure in that person's life that's why kids are usually separated from their parents or women are separated from their husbands or families are divided you destroy any other cultural ideology or religious belief because i am now your authority i am now your god like she said they want to be the gods they want to have ultimate control and ultimate say over your lives that is why people treat their ideologies like their religion there are black people pro-black people black lives matter that treat the color of their skin like it is every essence of their lives like it is their lord god and savior it's the same thing in the queer community or the trans community i am trans i am queer this is everything to me my identity is my lord god and savior it's the same thing with political ideology lord god and savior people who worship science and worship scientists as they lord god and savior so they have to destroy anything else that will mess that up for them so because as human beings we are inherently going to latch on to something higher than us even if it's not a spiritual or religious theology you will worship something and so they want to drive any other beliefs out of your head out of, out, out of your eyesight so they can control your religion they can control what you worship they can control what you depend on to get through life right if that made any sense anyway i hope that i put i will put the gothics clip in here because i think she explained it a little bit better but it 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 defeats the point of their movement if you have religion if you have god if you have faith if you're a spiritual person because you're more likely to love thy neighbor than hate thy neighbor and it will be harder for them to divide and conquer but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below please like comment subscribe hit that button get to notifications when i do upload all of that really does help with the algorithm guys and if i just support this channel any further you can donate my paypal me link is in the description box below and also in the comment section of course it helps but you don't have to you can just like comment subscribe another great way to support this channel is either join my brand new membership program different levels different tiers different perks or you can visit my brand new merch shop links down below and links to all of the eternal platforms including my rumble my discord my odyssey my twitter and all the links to all the other youtube channels i have on this platform is all in the links down below and again go follow me because if i just disappear off this uh platform then we still have a way to stay connected and communicate with one another and if you like you can super thanks i also have a second travel vlog channel i travel the lifestyle i live abroad if you'd like to know where i am in the world you can go to the description box below and also in the comment section hit the link go subscribe to my travel vlog channel and or follow me on my travel instagram my stories is usually what's most up to date and you guys having an amazing day bye